Hello, challengers. Today, we will talk about health examination. The status of your personal health is very important. You should go through different examinations to determine your health status. The unusual behaviors or other symptoms, a problem, can help you determine your health status. As you enter puberty, there are different changes in your life. This has something to do with growth and development as adolescent. Some of these changes deals with height and weight. Checking your personal growth by taking weight and measuring your heart Height is record for your constant growth and development. This will be the basis for instruction regarding the factors that influence your growth and maturity to furnish motivation for health practice improvement. There are some common weight and height problems. Here are Sam. Number one is stunted growth. Growth is controlled by the hormones which the body produced. The endocrine system in the body is made up of the glands that produce hormones that can affect growth. Hormones are secreted through the bloodstream. The hypothalamus in your brain controls the pituitary gland, which turn releases some hormones that control growth and sexual development. Estrogen and testosterone are important hormones that drive sexual development and function that also play a role in your growth. Hypothyroidism it can cause low growth because the thyroid gland is not producing enough thyroid hormone which is necessary to support normal growth. Dwarfism This results from abnormal growth of the bones and cartilage in the body. Dwarfism has the person abnormal body Proportions such as nos, nos, noticeably short limbs. Much cases of therapism are genetic. Growth hormone deficiency. It is a condition that involves pituitary gland. The small gland located at the base of the brain that produces growth hormone and other hormones. If the pituitary gland does not produce enough hormones for normal growth, growth slows down and stops. Next is underweight. Most children weigh less than others. But it's just fine. There are many who go through puberty in different rate. Most, most underweight teens catch up in weight as they finish puberty during later teen years, and there is rarely a need to try to gain weight. Overweight and obesity People who eat more food and consume more calories than what they burn store of extra calories as fat, which should result in the term overweight or obese, which describes a person who is at greater risk of developing weight-related health problems. People today may be gaining weight because of unhealthy food choices, such as fast foods and family habits such as eating in front of the television instead of the dining table. High calorie, low nutrient snacks and beverages, bigger proportions of food, and less active lifestyles are contributing to the obesity epidemic. Sometimes, people turn to food for emotional reasons, such when they feel upset, 
anxious, sad, stressed out, or even bored. When this happens, they often eat more than they need. Arthritis. This wear and tear on the joints when carrying extra weight. It can cause painful joint problem at a very young age. Asthma. Obesity is associated with breathing problems that can make one harder to keep with friends, play sports, or just walk from class to class. A person with asthma always requires an inhaler. Sleep apnea a condition where a person temporarily stops breathing during sleep. It is a serious problem for many overweight kids and adults. Not only in it, it interrupts sleep, sleep apnea can leave people feeling tired and affect their ability to concentrate and learn. This may also lead to heart problems. blood pressure. When blood pressure is high, the heart must pump harder and the arteries must carry blood that moves under greater pressure. The heart and arteries are pressured to work double time. High cholesterol. Long before getting sick, obese teens may have abnormal lipid levels, including high cholesterol. This can increase the risk of heart attack and stroke. Fatty liver. When fat accumulates the liver, it can cause inflammation. Scarring permanent liver damage. Diabetes. When there is excess body fat, insulin is less effective at getting glucose, the body's main source of energy, into cells. More insulin is needed to maintain a normal blood sugar. Depression People who are obese are more likely to be depressed and have low self-esteem. It's very sad. I hope that everyone will remain healthy and make sure that you are always taking some health examinations. Keep safe everyone! Thank you!